all right guys welcome to your next android video and in this video we're going to do something very cool we're going to build our observer and we're going to observe a, a fake data set in other words uh, we're going to tell our loader to reload its data every so often okay or just to reload so in order to do this we're going to need to add a button because technically you should be doing this with like a service or whatever we're going to do it a quick and dirty way because i am cheap so I just say button and we're just going to say call this reload and we're going to set an on click uh, properly on click and we're just going to say reload strings and then we're going to copy and paste this into our activity remember our, this needs a click method so public void reload strings view v uh, control shift o auto import and we're going to reload the thing now technically we could just get our loader from the loader manager and tell it to reload but we're not going to do that we're going to essentially inform the loader that our data set has changed so in order to do that we need to create a broadcast receiver in here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a broadcast receiver broadcast receiver uh, you know broadcast receiver And we're going to implement our methods on receive and our intent and all that nonsense and what we're going to do is in our on receive we're going to say um actually you know what we'll do we'll do this a little differently we won't do that we'll implement implement broadcast receiver Okay, I'll just say our broadcast receiver, blah, blah. Job done. And then we're just going to say um, this. Our Damn it, hang on a sec. I need to figure out how to do this observer. Uh, I need to reference... Yeah, this is a variable. Hang on a sec. I figured out how to do it. Uh, we need to, this is an actual class we're creating, so we need to implement the. And we're, we're going to create an inner class, okay? There we go. And in here we're going to implement our constructor where we have to get our loader. And we'll just say we'll get our random string loader. Put that in here. So we need to get a reference to the loader or store a reference to our loader. So it's pretty simple. Okay, so we store a reference to our loader. And what we want to do is we want to tell the loader that the content has changed. So we're going to say loader dot content changed or is it on content on content changed. So that checks if the loader has started and causes force load. 
So essentially that's going to restart, that's going to reload the data and we should get a random set of strings. So now what we need to do is, we have our broadcast receiver but it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there picking its bum. So we're going to register the receiver in, we need to register our receiver. And I'm trying to figure out where to put this now. Because when the load is reset, we want to unregister the receiver. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll re register the receiver in on start loading. So let's register our receiver. So we're going to create our receiver object. So it's going to be just receiver. And then in our on start loading receiver equals new receiver and we need a context of this or we need our broad our loader to pass in so I've got a receiver then we want to create our intent filter object so we need to create an intent filter because otherwise how do we call the receiver You always want to register and deregister these correctly over time because you know when the loader starts and stops, we don't want to have you know uh, references to our like when the loader stopped and it's destroyed. So when we call reset or destroy, the loader's gone. But if it's holding a reference, if the broadcast receiver is holding a reference to it and this broadcast receiver is still in the system, we're going to leak our loader. So we don't want to do that. So filter, we're going to add our action and our string. We're going to create a static string. So public static final string um, action or hang on uh, string loader that note like notifies what we call it or reload Keyboard acting weird lately, it's doing a strange thing. So we're just gonna say random string loader dot reload. I know it should be called something like that, I don't even know. Anyway, add our action. Good stuff. And once we've added our action, all we need to do is Hang on, do I have to add? Hang on, I'm not a lot of the docs in my second monitor here to keep stuff fresh in my mind so I'm not cutting videos in and out. But Ah, yeah, we can add a data scheme. We're not going to though. We're just going to add our action and then we're going to uh, register receiver. So. Now, this is a very important thing I'm about to mention. You never, ever, ever store a context in a loader. See this context here? You never store that variable up here yourself. You always say get context. Dot register receiver, okay? And it's very, very simple. Why? So this registers a, re a broadcast receiver. If you have stored your variable context here, what happens is loaders are unaffected by orientation changes or by configuration changes. So if you have your main activity and you your context here is a reference to that main activity, when you rotate the device, the main the old main activity is broken down and garbage collected and the new one comes in. However, if you have a reference to it here, the new main activity has to be created and to change the reference. Therefore, you've got a memory leak. And the memory leak might fix itself, it might get garbage collected, it might not be, but you've leaked an activity. You never want to store a reference to context, ever. Like no Android component should talk to each other like this. The loaders are a bit of an exception to that, but never store your context or you know, leak your context because the loaders are persistent across configuration changes. That's very important. So what we're going to do now is we've registered a receiver and we're going to uh, override the onReset method 
on reset and we're going to say unregister receiver and we're going to get our context and unregister the receiver we just created because the loader has been destroyed we want to make sure to unregister the receiver so we're not referencing it anymore and therefore we, we won't you know, accidentally anything so unregister receiver and a receiver object so that's good we've unregistered receivers and we've registered it so that means that when we when we set up this button to send the broadcast with this action it should reload our data so let's do that let's create that and we want to pass in our action string so I will just set that here set action we're going to say random string loader reload action so there's our, our action and then we want to say yeah send broadcast and our intent so when we run this it should automatically um oh yeah there we go hang on a minute i need to start this manually uh, android sdk manager or virtual device manager start scale display wipe user down not bothered to wipe user data and here we go now we know that this uh, string loader because it's a randomly generated set of strings it's always going to be random strings so it's okay to force the reload each time but i'll show you how to uh cache some like the old data so if you know you can cache the old strings compare them and then if they have changed deliver the results so here we go uh, we've got all that so let's install our loaders apk so as you can see it's loaded so if we press reload, it reloads the data. Ta-da! Remember, we've got a two second delay there to simulate a data reload, but wha-bam. So, the data is now reloading correctly. And that is a nice little bit of a tutorial there for loaders. And in the next video, we're gonna go into caching and making sure the data is new, so we're not delivering results too often. Um, you know, technically on on reset we should we you know, we should say this dot stop loading. You know, just to confirm that the loader has been stopped. Otherwise, you can get into uh, a big mess very fast. You know, or yeah, and you can also say uh, I think in here you can say if it's cancelled or is reset. So. You know, check. We could check there if it's reset before we actually start loading, or you know, just to make sure that things can be ca uh, cancelled properly. And uh, we should release resources. So, um, a good example here would be: let's say you've got. You now we've only got an array list, so it doesn't make any difference. But let's say you're caching a cursor, and okay, you've you've shut it down. Your loader's gone. You should be, you know, closing off your cursor, making sure it's all tidied up properly. So this is where you do your tidy up. You're on reset, and you do your setup and on start loading. So the callbacks go on start loading. That means we want, you know, the loader's been created. Force a load. Uh, on load and ba load and background is called. So yeah, we're loading our background already. Deliver your result if it's started or whatever. So that calls to deliver result when it's finished. And then on reset is where you do your tidy up for when we delete the loader or reset it. And that's it for this video, guys. So that's uh, observing data set changes. And that's that. So it looks pretty cool. And I'll see you next time when we get into caching the data.